G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jaboodle, and welcome back once again after a bit of a hiatus, welcome back to Icarus, the ridiculously gorgeous survival game that we first had a crack at a couple of weeks ago now in their first beta weekend, but now it is beta weekend 2 and we are back to carry on in this wonderful world that looks pretty but will absolutely mess me up. Now, rather annoyingly, at the end of the last beta weekend, uh, I didn't think they were going to wipe progress for character progression, but turns out they have. So I am back to bog stock stair, which is really annoying because I actually went and ground out all the levels up to like level 15 or 16, I think I was. So I had a bunch of extra technology knowing I was coming back to film it this weekend. That hasn't happened anymore, which is a bit of a shame, which means I have to start from scratch all over again. But at least now I kind of know what the, 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 the vibe, the go is with this game, so I can kind of figure out what I need to do and push through a little bit faster. The grind to get to, like, some better technology might be pretty real, but we'll do our best, see how far we can get. I'm just happy to be back. They have made uh, a few changes since the first beta weekend as well. I no longer have a map, so... I guess I just need to go try and find myself some water. Because there's lots of wildlife around. All just cruising around with their coat hangers on their head. Um, I assume it's downhill. I, I think this is the same map that we had last time around. But I was going to try and focus on finding some water. Getting a kind of camp built up. And then leveling up as fast as possible to try and get to some better stuff. Because I know that there are now some pretty bad things that they've added to the game now that aren't going to be great for me. So I need to get some protection, need to get some weaponry, and get my life in order very, very quickly, sooner rather than later. Because if I don't, well, there won't be any later for me. I'll be dead very quickly. I'm supposed to be looking for water, but that's caught my interest a little bit. Oh, that's a very brave elk wandering into there. Is that like a bear den? Oh, that's real sketch. Every inkling of my being is telling me, telling me to stay the hell away from there, but I'm kind of curious now. Oh, it's real dark and real scary. I need... Can I make myself a torch yet? Uh, tech tree... Torch. No, it'd be level 5. Or oh, like a wood rag torch, actually, but I don't have the skill points to unlock it. Might I go cheeky deeky level up? What's that, like... What's that going on for me, though? What's this? Status effect. Underground. Damp and closed environment. Chance of pneumonia. When I'm right next to the, the opening. Can I live down here, though? There's water. I mean, that's what I was kind of looking for. I'll live in a cave. There's no real area to retreat, but at least it's out of the elements. Not a bad idea. I mean, if I can't build myself a shelter, I'll live under a rock. Why not? So I'm live for the rest of my life. It makes sense for me. I really don't recognize anywhere of where I'm running. I think I'm in a new part of the map, which is great, but less great for me, who was hoping to find something. Oh, here we go. Something more viable. Oh, it's a nice big lake. Okay, it is a different one to the one I had last. There's a couple of islands out there. Oh, go for dolphin! Don't, don't fall down the cliff. I got so painted then. I forgot how a mouth works. I mean, I could live here. This is a nice little spot. There's another cave like down underneath me. Oh, there might be. That could be where I could build my home. Yes, I could go full dwarf. Go live under there with my axe and no elven friends. My die beside them. I refuse to call on my mates. Oh, that's gonna be sick. I feel like this cave might have a bear in it, though. And if there's a bear in there, there's probably a chair as well. But either way, that's not going to be good for me. So there's no cave here at the moment. But I feel like this is... I mean, the next update, maybe there'll be a cave here. It's looking like it's definitely asking for something like that. But this hasn't quite materialized just yet. It's the freaking Cave of Wonders. Ooh. Can I touch... <gasps> oh my god! Are you fucking kidding me?! There's a secret cave! There's a secret tunnel through the mountain! Oh, what? I didn't even know that was a thing! It's done. Okay, no, fuck it. Done. We're living here. We're living here forever. This is where I'm going to be. Oh, I've never been so excited like that before. That was completely unexpected. Ah, oh, it's so good! I feel like for my own sake, I don't want to open up this door too much. I started, like, carving out a little bit, but... I mean, there are bears out here. So if I can make this like a, a Josh-sized hole that's not a bear-sized hole, that might be better for me. If I could like place the, the blocks back in here, I bloody would. If I can sneak on in here, this looks perfect. All right, well, campfire, let's just put you right next to the entryway. Then uh, F to pick. Oh, I don't want to pick up. I just want to use you. Here you go. You can have a bit of that. You can have a bit of that. Activate you. Get your sizzling away. 
Oh, I'm so excited. I've got my meat in a hole. That's a great bloody time. I can see some lights over there. Oh, is that like a punky pit? Is that like open up to the environments? I'm going to try and get out to that one. At least there's water in here. Look how cool the water looks. It's like a freaking grotto. That's so good. Oh, that's amazing. So is this count as me still being underground though? What have I got going on? I'm underground. I'm disorientated for some reason. I guess because I'm under here. I'm chilled. I mean, surely this cat's not being underground anymore. I've got the nice warm sunlight beckoning down on my face. Got lots of ores and stuff. I'm going to turn this place. This is my new home. This is my new home forever and ever and ever. Though I can't see Dick trying to get back out of here. There it is. There's a little nodule. I'm going to need some, uh, I'm going to need some torches or something. This is so cool. This entire cave is going to be my house and no one can tell me otherwise. Oh, it's the coolest thing ever. I'm so psyched. That's it. That's it. I'm calling it now. If you give me secret passageways that I can carve into and get some sneaky deaky secrets going on, it's, it's the best survival game ever. This is the best survival game in 2021 by a country freaking mile. Puts all the other games in the dark, including me. And that is for sure. Remember in the first beta weekend when I said that this game was trash and unplayable because there wasn't, well, there wasn't a purple spacesuit, which still hasn't been rectified, just by the way, but there also wasn't a secret cave behind the waterfall, which is unforgivable. You have a nice flowing waterfall like that, you've got to have a cave behind it. That transgression against all things good and wonderful about survival games has been forgiven by having secret caves like that. That's it. I'm done. I'm good. I'm happy. I was just like just being annoyed and beating on a rock instead, but it started chipping away. I got excited. Oh, man. I'm absolutely stoked. I'm, I'm chipper. I'm having a crack of a time. That's a blinder of a peach. I've got some skill points to spend, but I'm trying to save it till I get to level five so I can upgrade automatically straight to all my wood stuff. The dream though, and the reason I tried to put in all the grinding between last weekend and now in the last couple of hours of the last beta weekend, the dream is to get up to all this stone stuff because my understanding of this beta weekend is there's now storms that will light your house on fire. And as we know, I mean, short of a fire wolf coming through and burning down your mansion or your shit shack that you happen to live in, fire's a pretty bad time. So I was probably invested like a fire whacker. I assume I will have to still build quite a lot of like infrastructure, even though I want to live in this cave, like some like outer area kind of thing. Because I doubt the game will uh, take into consideration that whatever crafting station I put in there will be sheltered as it needs to be. So I might need to build some things. So stone is going to be the go. I just need to get the levels up. Speaking of, here we go. Oh, does minor wins? A Pratching? Missing it over there, but that's okay. It's still the beta weekend. Uh, you... So this is going to be an interesting little uh, little test run to see if, um, you know, me being in the cave does give me shelter or not. I feel like it should, but we don't know until we know. Wow, I've got real windy real quick. The weather event incoming is like, oh, by the way, it's currently happening. It's like you're standing outside in the rain, feeling your tits and saying there's like a 50% chance it's currently raining. That happened immediately. I feel fine though. So do I count as being protected in here? I haven't got the um the thing telling me that I'm uh, exposed. I can just watch the weather pass on by. Oh man, I'm so happy I found this place. I'm so happy I found this place. You don't even know. I mean, I'm excited, but you don't even know. Put a cheeky box down like that. Can't see much, but it's okay. Oxidizer will just go there as well. Uh, I still had some oxygen left over. No, I've sucked it all up and I'm now full of oxygen. That's pretty good though. So I'll come back and fill you up in a second, but for the moment, just like store all of you into them. Yeah, I shall keep you on me. Sticks and twine and all sorts of things, whatever I can store should be stored. I'm going to need some more storage space already. I'm going to have to make like a wood box and like a stone box and like another's box. I've got enough wood, that shouldn't be too much of an ask. I'm not getting the exposure thing, so I think my cave is working. But if I just stand out here, does that do anything to me or is it just windy? Oh, no, nope, there we go. Storm exposure. All right, no shelter. So caves do count as shelter. Nice, I like that. Can't quite see much in here. That's a little bit dark. Don't have enough room for all my boxes. So I'll just stack you up on top of there. You're a little bit tipsy, but that's okay. I know them feels. Um, now, you can be wood. You can be bones and leather. That can be animal products in them. And fiber, why not? Sticks can go in the wood box. That kind of makes sense. Kind of tracks. Nice. All right. Well, when the outside stops being so angry at me, I'll go out and cut down more of nature. I need all the experience points. I need to get it quick. Actually, what I'll do, rather than running my fire just to see, I'll grab a torch. I'll grab bandages as well. That seems like a reasonably good idea to try and stop myself oozing all my liquids out of me and falling over dead in not too long. 
Uh, and a bedroll, actually. All those things seem like they're worthwhile. Uh, crafting, I need to grab all my stuff back out of my box, please. Grab you, take that one, a bit of wood as well. Plus some animal products, I'm sure. Some fiber. I think fur goes in the bedroll and leather as well. Take all that stuff. Okay, you can just wait on a second. We'll go craft. We'll make one of you. Craft that one. We'll make a cheeky bedroll. One of you. And four bandages seems wise. Just to keep myself okay. I am going to get eaten before too long. Need to make sure I can stave off death a little bit longer. Here we go. Light my torch. That looks lovely. I hope a bear can't squeeze through. If I can squeeze through here, there's every chance a bear can too. But for the moment, that's going to be okay. My oxygen levels are getting a little bit low. So can I just like put you there for a tick? I can hear a wolf howling on the breeze. And just start mining up this stuff. I mean, sure. Why not? It gives me experience points. Keeps on going up. I might have to mine out this entire cave. It'll give me all the iron ores and stuff for later on. Wait, what was that? Something just yelled at me. Looked like my lungs were burning down, but that's okay. Anything more? There's a little bit more there. Take every last little drop of it. Leave nothing behind. Oh, I've got pneumonia. Severe infection of the lungs. How? Why? I feel like if I've lit up the bloody uh, the bloody cave, I'm happy about it. So, okay. Living in a cave, not a great idea, apparently. Oh, there is a wolf out here. Okay, you just like, you just stop. Hold on to you for a moment and just... Wait on. I can't go back in the cave because I'll start coughing up fluids. I've got the bandages to stop losing fluids. So it's all just gone in my lungs instead. There you are. There you are. Wait for it. Right in the chin. Oh. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. This is what I need the bandages for. Him. I shot him in the nose. He didn't give a shit. Please stop. Go knife. Damn it. The knife didn't kill him either. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. Why are the wolves so tough now? You used to be bitches and now you're just eating me. You're level 61? Holy shit! Calm down, would you have got to spawn three inches away? You're a freaking wolfy porcupine! You're gonna porky to death again! Alright, well the wolf is just standing guard on my cave. No, you go away. Don't go in my house. Hold F to respawn. I'm gonna have to run out of the door, grab all my weapons out of the wolf. Oh, it's, oh I've lost my bow and stuff as well, so even the arrows are worthless. Um, uh, current XP dead? Oh, come on, that's rude. I'm just trying to punch out levels. Go away. I know my knife is inside you, but that's really bloody rude. I'm going to shelter in here. I'll wait for you to piss off. I have to try and sneak out because I can't even go and punch the wolf if I wanted to. Like, there's no... Oh, there's many wolves. There's a whole pack outside me door. Oh, for goodness sake. It's a pack of derm. It's a pack of flying fish. Not a pack of saber-toothed tigers. Um, okay, well, I need to just abandon my little cave house for a second. Not only was it making me sick, it's also lured in all of the monsters in the world. So I need to go and try and find some weapons again. That was uh, a rather unfortunate turn of events. Those wolves are strong. I'm now acutely aware, or rather mildly paranoid. If that's how tough a wolf is... What's a bear going to be like? like I was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with bears before, just me and my knifey friend. But if a wolf just messed me up, one wolf alone, even though I put more splinters into its skull than quills out of an echidna, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do when a bear comes for me. Just turn myself into a pot of honey and hope he just gives me a lick and leaves me alone. I don't know. I'm going to be in some serious, serious strife for one of those bad boys. Those fuzzy balls like to death show up. And I have no intention of that happening anytime soon. But I don't think the gang gives a fuck about my intentions. It's starting to get a little bit dark and I'm trying to make my way back to my cave where my bedroll and stuff is. There's a wolf up on the hill just there. Not that I can do a whole lot about it because as we know now, those wolves are built like a tank. There's the other one. I wonder if they heal though. I wonder if, he was, uh, if he's got all his health back after he took all of my health away for his own personal enjoyments. Oh, I hope. I hope it's okay. So the wolves like spawn around like cliffs and stuff like rocky areas like this. That kind of makes sense to... Like a wolf's habitat kind of place, but it's now a, a Josh habitat. I uh, need us all just to live in unison, you know, live together, happily, togetherly. We're all friends who love each other. Please just leave me alone and let me live in my hole in peace. While the night's closing in, I do want to try and get some more experience if I can. That looks interesting, so I'll just leave you there. It's a coal node. Probably going to set fire to that one because otherwise our entire cave will very quickly become uninhabitable. 
uninhabitable. There we go. That's the word. But at least, like, you know, I now have some coal to fuel my fires and probably, like, some skating torches and stuff as well. So that's fine with me. I'm a bee stick away from the next level up as well. So when you die, it puts you back to zero on your level. You don't lose the level, I don't think, but you lose all the experience in that level. So now level four. That's now locked in. So crafting... Uh, it's not crafting. Actually, I need one more level to get wood stuff. As soon as I have that, I will build myself like a, a proper little room or something. Maybe even inside the cave to see if it stays off the ammonia. But once I have that, we can really start cracking along. It's now night time enough. I'll quickly extinguish you. Just jump in the bed and then... Wait, what? Oh, it's now 7. Okay, I was going to say, it, like, last time it had skipped to 7 again for jumping in the bed, and it did that time, but then it gave me the warning saying to get out of bed. I was sleeping in like a sloth that I am. Uh, nice. Okay, well, it's now the next morning. The wolves are still out and about. However, I have very little on me. I don't mind dying, er like, early in a level as such. I just lose a couple of things on, which isn't too bad. But if I die later on, I am going to be mad. Ha! 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 You nightmare shadowy bitch! You can't just come trundling out of the bloody forest like that! I'm already panicked enough without your antlered head scaring me after death! You bastard! I finally made it to level 5. I've just been sitting here for 8 years breaking down everything I possibly can. There's a mild weather event coming in. Just some light showers. That's not too bad though, but it is now. Now that I have my top level, I can now head back to my little cave, take some shelter and start building some stuff up. All I've been doing is just, oh, there's a wolf over there. He's just been sitting over here digging up rocks. That's how I've been grinding out the levels, is getting XP for beating down rocks. Turns out ores seem to give you a bit more uh, XP, which I probably should have done beforehand. Look, these things are just full not that one. That one, just full of stones. Full of everything. A little bit of cucumbers, so you can have that one back. I'll take these things with me instead. All right, let's head back to my cave. Don't mind me, Elky boy. Just passing through. In fact, if you want to distract some wolves, carry them off into the wilderness, string up on your antlers, I don't really mind. That would be lovely. Better they eat you than eat me, because I'll eat you anyway. Here we go. Home sweet home. Just like bunker down in here. I know I'm visible, but that's okay. I'll uh, consume some oxygen. Nice. Okay, so now we're out of the out of the storm and looking pretty good for ourselves. Let's get you. Just drop you down there so I can see some stuff. Please don't burn down my bed, though. And our tech tree. I need uh, wood beam, wood floors, wood walls. I need a wooden door as well and probably a roof. Seems about right. Uh, railing. The rest of the stuff, not really super critical, I don't think. That's enough to build myself a... Um, uh, a house at the very least. Maybe some windows as well. Well, if I have... Mm, if I have the roof, then I should probably have the angle pieces to go in there. Right? Or is that a job for later, Josh? That's... That will do it now. We'll do it now. Stuff. Next skill point will go in the windows, though. But at least now I have all of the wood in the world as well. I can store some of this stuff away and get crack and build myself some shelter that isn't going to make me sick. I kind of want to see if I build like a floor on the floor of the cave and make it like actually a bit more habi uh, habitable. Does that mean that I'm struggling with that word today, aren't I? Does that mean that I'll stop getting the ammonia from being in here? I don't know. Maybe it's just like if you're within an area, it gives you pneumonia and you don't really get a choice about it. Uh, okay, so fine. Maybe it'll work. I'm not sure. Let's stick you like that. I might need to pick up all of this garbage to try and get things out of the way. In fact, can I quickly grab... Where's my, my torch? Grab you. Stick you up on here so you stand up all nice and lovely like that. So easy. All right, I'll take the rest of this stuff. Make sure I take everything out of you as well. Just move you up onto the, the foundation. If I have to make it like this and have like a little, a tiny little hatch to squeeze through then, that'll be fine. All right, so here's the test then. If I get my beam, I'll put you like that and like that. And I'll just put like a roof over the top of me. Does this still count as being underground? Or are you going to say, no, I now have pneumonia. Although... It doesn't say them underground anymore. I might have just timed that really badly. So I got sick just as I was building my shelter. That's a bit of a shame, but at least we got it. Do I heal faster if I stand outside? No, I've just got 10 minutes of coughs. The 10 minute cough. Damn it. That's... <laughs> well, I suppose I'll just spend my time just like lurking around here then. I do need some water. I just might head down to the beach real quick and dunk my head underneath and blow some bubbles. 
Hmm. I wonder if I can make this work, though. I want to live in this cave so bad. I've had to widen the hole a little bit just so I can get in and out. Still have to crouch to, like, move up this little ramp, but it should do the trick. No, this still counts as me being underground. Okay, so my genius plan didn't quite work out as much as I was hoping it would. Do I have to break you all the way back down again? Or is there like... Someone said there was like a button that I could like destroy things with. I don't know what it is. So I have to go the old old school way and just break you down real quick. Because now you're just kind of in the way. I have to extend my house a little bit further out this way. So I can have somewhere to stand that's not going to make me sick again. Nothing too crazy. Just a little cheeky deeky bit of a bit of a hut. I like that like you can clip the buildings through the walls and stuff. So I don't have to build the walls on the side. I could have wanted to, but I can just kind of use the terrain to my advantage. We'll go door frame facing that way and then use some roofy boys up the top. Up like you, up like you, and up like you. So I'm still like right next to my little cavern here. I can still go in there and get water if I need to. If I'm too scared to go outside because there's probably a bear out there somewhere. But at least I have access to the mine. This is a good spot. I like how this is shaping up. Uh, in fact, one, two, three. I might make some extra roofy boys up the top for there as well. And just continue that along. Oh, yep, like that. Going to need one more for that little crevice over there. Can't let the rains in. It's dark, but it's nice. I wonder if, actually, because that's right about on the join between two, uh, two blocks. So can I go... Maybe one door will do it. Can I stick a door on my cave entrance? Must snap. Okay, so if I build... Might need two walls, actually, because I'm kind of going in the wrong spot. Huh. Wait, I thought I could make double doors. I thought that was a thing now. Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I bloody can too. All right, let's get you. Flick you around that way. Is that going to snap into there now? Or do I need the other side as well? Damn it. Come, come on, you're right. You're snapping. You want to be there. Get in there. No, damn it. I know you're colliding, but shush. I've moved my campfire on my bed out to the front part of my house. If I do have to respawn or like sit around my campfire or something, I'm not going to get too much pneumonia. That looks great. Just like tucked away in a little crevice there. That's bloody perfect. I mean, it's a little obvious. It's not particularly obtuse, but that's okay. Uh, all I need to do now is get myself some food because I'm a little bit peckish. But given that half the world is full of jagged teeth and bad times... Are there fishies? Can I go find some fishies? Fishies are good eating. Or are they going to eat me too? Is everything in this game just going to use me as a snack and not the other way around? It's still... There's still just something about this game that just gets me all sorts of excited. Look at that though. How could you not enjoy that view? Yeah, I'm smoothing about in the kelp reeds and hanging out with all the otters and shit, but... I don't know, man. Uh, there's just, there are so many times in this game I catch myself just staring at the environment I'm in and just enjoying it wholesale. What a place to be exploring, though. There's a deer just there. Just put one through your neck and you'll run away again. I'm just not doing, just not doing the damage I used to. I should probably invest in, um, uh-oh, uh-oh, that's the angry sound. That's the angry sound of something coming to eat me. Ow, I don't know what it was. Oh, it's a wolf. Okay, come down here. I'm hoping I can still just like cheese you out by going into the water because I can't do enough damage to actually fight your hand to paw. There was another one there. Oi, dickhead, get over here. Yep, sit right there. Put one through your eye. Don't know where your friend went, but if I just like stay down here, can I just like go one of these ones? You're level 94? Oh, he's paddling. He's paddling. Doggy style is clearly the superior swimming style. Backstroke ain't doing it for me. Please, please die. I just, I, I thought I have to stab. I have to stab. I have no other options. I just need to eat you, please. Okay, thank you, good. Don't know why you're sick, but I'm not gonna complain. Oh, oh no, no, this is murdering wolves. I can't, I'm stuck, I'm help. I'm helpless. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm riding a bear submarine. Just keep stabbing, just keep stabbing. If all else fails, stab them all in the eyes. We're going down, but we're going down fighting. Bear down, level up. So if I die now, I don't lo lose anything except all the potential for gubs. Oh my God. Submarine bears suck. That's a bear battleship. That was terrible. The adorable doggy paddle aside. I was doing a good job of actually murdering a couple of animals and getting my way through there, getting some food, mostly by finding little badges and things on the ground and stabbing in the face. Apparently the bear took issue with that. I raided his snack cupboard and he turned me into a fresh pack of Doritos. Oh man. 
There's nothing quite like the panic of a big fuzzy ball like chasing you down. God damn, are they quick? Oh no, I forgot. <laughs> I put my bed down, but then I didn't look at it and hold F to say, I would like to spawn here, please. Well, where the shit are gonna come down now? At least I got that level up though. Murdering that bear gave me enough of, uh, of an XP boost to get me into level six. So I didn't lose all that much. Just a couple of drips and drabs of the garbage that I had on me. Left most of the stuff back at home, thankfully. Oh, where the, oh God, where the hell am I gonna be now? I'm in my sweet little drop pod. Uh, I kind of recognize it. So I'm further north than my original drop. So I need to head south, but it's getting late in the day. There's now bears around the place. I'm uh, a little bit behind the eight ball here. This is a bit of a snooker. There's the lake. That's what I was looking for. Oh, just as just as the sun sets behind the really big mountains, which means my home should be just over here. Well, I don't know if like the bear carcasses and stuff, like I murdered the bear and a wolf and a bunch of other stuff. I don't know if they're... There's a wolf house somewhere out there. I don't know if their carcasses will still be there for me to go and harvest up. So I might just quickly set my spawn point this time, which seems like a pretty great idea to me. What's the time? It's six o'clock. Can I skip to morning? Yes, I can. It's now the morning of day three. I'm going to get out there and go and investigate. Oh, fuck. No, I'm not. Never mind. Never mind. It's good. It's fine. Unless you want to come inside for breakfast and be my pet to scratch behind the ears, you need to piss off. I am starting to feel like, like as much as I love this game, and I do love it an awful lot, the pacing of it is rather slow. Let's go about there. Oh, that was right in the neck. I've even got like bone arrows and bone knives. I have to try and murder a little bit better because I am pushing to try and get my levels up as much as possible. And even after what? Two hours, I'm only level seven. I'm just trying to push to level 10. Wouldn't be so bad if I didn't lose all the progress from before because I did grind all out once before already. Just uh, like that. I went just in front of your nose. Try that one. I got you that time as well. I'm not doing enough damage to kill fast enough to level up fast enough to get to like the stone buildings. Like, I'm trying to push to get to the new content that's in this beta weekend without like retracing all the steps I did two weekends ago in the first couple episodes. So I don't want to like, you know, rehash the same stuff. But it's just, it's just taking a long time. Finally got the kill on you though, so I can harvest you up and get all my bone arrows back. I just want to build cool stuff. I just want to explore the new things. Um, when did this happen? Contaminated water? I thought the whole point was that like my suit filtered the water that I was drinking. When did that change? Was I supposed to be boiling the water? I've just been like dunking my head under the waves for so long, just getting it done that way. That apparently that was the wrong thing to do. I don't even know when that happened. All right, well, fair enough then. I guess screw me. Just trying to keep myself nice and hydrated while I murder the population of whatever planet this may be. That's some average shooting, Josh. Some bang average shooting. And then hit you in the collarbone and barely even tickled you. I just, I just can't do enough damage. I'm just so weak. I'm so weak and pitiful. Oh man, I missed being the top of the food chain. Apparently that's the bears and the bears love it. I've just got my level up. I'm now level eight. I have to remember to actually move my face cam so you can see that. I've only just ticked over level, uh, level eight. So I am feeling a bit ambitious. I've only got... I do have a lot of food on me, actually. We've got a lot of food cooking back home as well. But I want to try and kill this grizzly over here. I killed one before. There's some rain inbound. Incoming storm. What? Oh, just light rain. Okay, not really quite a storm, but apparently enough to give me a bone-chilling alert. There you go. Stand right there. There you go. Tickled you in the ear. Give you a bit of lead. About there. Good shots. Oh, it comes straight for me. The bear submarine once again. Because if I can kill a bear, then sure that's going to give me a lot more experience than it would have otherwise. Pepper the snoop with a bunch of sticks. Can you get up here? Yes, you can. Up. Oh, okay, into the water. Ow. I landed on the bear. He's still coming. He's still coming, but I can still stab. I can stab you in your paws. Your little jelly beans are going to get stabbed today. Can I like reach up and get you in the chin? There you go. Yes. Yes. There we go. That's what we like to see. Give me all that juicy bear meat. That gave me like a quarter of a level as well. Okay, apparently the way to level up is just to murder bears. 
Just going to cower away in here while the storm rages outside. In fact, I do have some blue po uh, blueprint points, don't I? Yes, I do. Let's quickly grab myself a, uh, a wood window. Almost said a wolf window, but same thing, I suppose. In you go into there. I'll take you. Look at all the food I've got. Most of it's going to get lost to, um, <laughs> well, going rotten. I'm going to eat all that amount of steak as much as I would like to fill you up with a bunch of oxide. Which was a way to do it a little bit quicker, but turns out, yeah, nah. Alright, cool. Well, I might wait for this storm to peter out. Uh, what do I need to make myself a window, though? Just some wood. I should have some more left over in here. Uh, not that one. A little bit in there. Grab a couple of bits of you. And quickly go... Uh, two of those. Craft and crafts. I have put in a door into my cave because I did put that like framing in there uh, a little while ago. I'm going to do the same on this side. Just chisel that out and put a double door in there because then at least I still have the barrier into the cave. Look kind of nice being like um, furnished or surrounded by all the stone as well. So that look kind of cool. Um, Give me you. Quickly go seven and go yep one there and one there. Nice. Now I have a nice little oasis of calm amongst all the storm. Here we go. Put in the other door like that. I did see uh, on Twitter that they did do this. So you can have actual nice double doors like that. That's lovely. That's what we need, like seven days and stuff. Like proper double doors that match up together nicely. That looks pretty good. I'll get rid of this little bit down here just to smooth out that side. I really like the look of like that door being like recessed into the stonework. That looks really good. Yeah, nah, sick. All right, sick tits. The storm is almost over. It is getting heckin' dark out there, though, so it might even be time for a cheeky nap. I'll pick up my torch before I burn my house down somehow. Don't give me the opportunity, because I guarantee you I will. Yeah, look, I'm already spoiling meat. I'm already losing meat to the spoils, because I'm not the victor, but I am the Muppets. Go like this. In fact, I'll even store some more of you into there. I'm just loaded down with so much extra garbage, it's not even funny. It is now a brand new fresh morning and I am going to get a little bit ambitious with it actually. I'm going to quickly duck in here, go like this, store my actual valuable stuff into the chest. I don't want to have to lose this and remake it all later on. Quickly repair you. Uh, bone, oh, I've got two bone knives? Okay, sure, not complaining. I'm going to leave most of that in here and just quickly duck on out and see if I can explore more of the new uh, the new map that's standing. Because I think, I think I'm well further south from where like the first beta took place. I think I'm all the way down the bottom. So I want to keep going down the valley. I have no idea how long this episode is already because we're doing so much grinding that's going to get cut out of the episode. Um, I have no idea how long it is. This could be 20 minutes. This could be an hour. Who bloody knows? But... I'm not going to let that get in the way of a cheeky deeky explore. So I'm taking to the hills, getting the old spaghetti legs pumping and heading down, well, southwest, I suppose, to see what's going on. Hopefully there's something good for me down here. Just following my river to see where it takes me. A couple of cheeky waterfalls. Do like a cheeky waterfall here and there. It's like, who doesn't want to live next to a waterfall? I'm a bit further up river of it. Oh, wow. This goes a lot further than I was anticipating it would. I'm a little bit further up river from the big waterfall, but that's all right. Or is this even, does this lead to my original lake? Is this like the big waterfall that I couldn't get up that didn't have the cave at the bottom of it? Do you reckon I'd die if I jump off cliffs into water? I mean, it'd be rude for me not to experiment with that, right? It'd be heckin' bloody rude if I didn't take this golden opportunity to run and leap and jump on this little doodle of rock. I have to, I have to. Like I'm down a freaking Blair Gary. Let's go, one, two, oh, yeah. Oh my god, please don't die. Almost cleared the fucking thing! Ow! I cleared the whole lake and I died! <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have the freaking hops of a prime MJ. I leaped over a bus, I leaped over a lake. That was a little more than I anticipated. That, um. That wasn't what I thought would happen. <laughs> well, now I have to go back and try it again, though. Wow, that's pretty rude. I died, but I maintained my broken leg. So this is how fast I move now. This is it. This is all I got. All right. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to sit here and wait for, what, <laughs> a couple of minutes, five minutes, just to let my leg heal again. I got, listen, if I'm going to jump into a pool of piranhas and die, I feel like my leg should heal when I miraculously, re uh, mirac miraculously even respawn. I mean, I've heard of having past lives and having some memories and shit, but this is a bit ridiculous. 
All right, here we go again. This time, let's not try to yeet ourselves onto a different continent and splatter ourselves on the rocks underwater over there. I can't believe how far I jumped that time. That was bloody ridiculous. But this time, I'm going to aim far out yonder, out into the good deep wet stuff. Here we go. And yeah, look at that. Look at the hops the man has. He's got bloody one of Tigger's tails in each of his thigh bones. That's some springy goodness right there. It also just occurred to me that there is fish down here. Ow! Oh, I got poisoned, you dick! What are you doing to me? You can't poison me! That's heck and I thought you were just a piranha! Negative 10 movement speed, venom solely drains health, count it with anti-venom, or wait it out. Of oh, three minutes of waiting out the poison. That's, uh, that's less than fun. Thanks for rewarding my sweet jump by infecting me with your gob jewels. Oh, I wonder. Now that we know that there can be secret caves, secret tunnels hidden behind rocks. Is there anything back here? No, no, there's not. Okay, well, all my dreams have died today, just like I died when I <laughs> severely underestimated my athletic prowess. All right, cool. Let's keep going exploring. I'm only a little bit screwed up, but that's all right. What else is around here? What else you got for me? This looks to be the end of the line as well, but what is this thing? Is this another cave? Can I have a cheeky squiz? Cheeky little look-see. Oh, it goes... Oh, what is that? Gold! There's gold in them there hills! All right, so at the very bottom of the map, because I can't go much further, because there's a ravine over here, but I can't really get out of here. So, ah, there's a golden cave down here. Can I make, real quick, uh, a torch? Wait, I need a couple more sticks. That's right, I'll be right back. I want to go exploring. I want to know what's in there. The poison's finally worn off. Ooh, there's more adventures to be had, though. Here we go. What else is in here, do you reckon? What have we got? We got... Platinum. Wow, okay. It's got platinum and gold. And it looks like some more platinum there as well. Not a very big cave, but hey, if you figure out where all the valuable stuff is spawning in, then that's good times for me. That's a big fucking gold nugget, too. That would be worth all the squishy that we came down here for. Can't mine it yet, though, because I need the better tools to do so. Which I'll need to wait till I'm, like, level, like, well, much higher before I can do that. That was sick, though. Just look at this place, though. Just look at it. Let me just, like, get over here. Get a nice little, uh, spot of over this side. Ha! Oh, look at that! I want to try and climb this rock face because I want to get over to there. I want... Ooh, it's like a desert area? There's an extra biome. I would like to get into there, please. Come on, up. Get your inner goat going. Get your inner Gary going and get the hell up these rocks so you can go and explore wherever the hell is happening over that side. Maybe over here. Please don't break your bloody legs. Get rid of that once today. I don't particularly want to do it again. There you go. Look at you. What a champion. Nice little plane of it. Look at the world, though. Um... No other hints of ca Ooh, that looks like a cave over there. Is it another secret one or is it like another proper one? Might go have a squiz and a head over that way. We're just exploring. We're going full Burke and Wills, but rather than bringing a big old freaking oat coffee table, we're actually being smart about it, but we did jump off a cliff, which probably wasn't particularly smart. Ooh, this is going to be another secret one. Another secret tunnel. Quickly pop you open. Have a squiz through you as well. Is it more like platinum and gold in here? Eh, there you go. Suck it in like all the Big Macs you have before. What have we got? We've got some iron. Oh, look at that. Some gold there as well, I think. Yep, more gold. Come on, though. How could you How could you not love that? That looks picturesque as shit. This is exactly where I want to come and hang out. One thing I do really want to know, actually, because that's like the secret entrance there. Can I, But it's got like that grow thing. It's got like that beam of that like, shaft of light coming through the top. Which I don't think actually exists in the world. Okay, it's just like a lighting effect. Well, that's probably why, actually, it still says you're underground, even though you're basking in the sunlight. So that kind of makes sense. Uh, all right. Well, with that explored, let's go have a squeeze at this little area over here. Man, I was having fun. Okay, this is be walking simulator. And I would absolutely still play it. So what do we reckon is going to be down here? I'm expecting at some point it to give you, like, the invisible wall thing and be like, you've gone too far. You need to turn around kind of like it did last time. Though so far, so good. wonder how far it'll let me go. There's a sweet little pass here. It hasn't closed me off yet. We could be heading to the desert. Oh, we're about to get thirsty. Thirstier than we already are for the game. Where are we heading? What you got for me this time? What secret surprises await me down here? Oh, well, that's... I mean, come on. Look, you're surrounded by snacks. If I was sitting in a puddle 
filled with Doritos. I sure shit we're waiting for something else to show up. This is like gold wind coming. I guess it's like a sandstorm kind of thing. Oh, good. I'm a million miles from home and you're sending a weather event at me and bears as well. Well, I'm being brave and I'm pushing through. Ooh, new kinds of animals. What are you? No, don't run away from me. Are you running from the bear? Probably fair enough. I'll run from the bear too. I don't know where I'm heading, but I need to get out of here. Barry, please. Barry, no. My stamina's cooked. Now nah, I'm dead. I made it all the way to the desert just to die at the hands of a goddamn bear. Well, at least we know we can go that way now. That's very interesting. Well, in that case, I think I was going to have to sit here and just watch the rainstorm roll in because... I've explored a bit. I've done a bit. I need to wrap up this recording. Still no idea how long this episode is going to be. But I think um, I'm going to go away and like between now and tomorrow in my time, I'll grind all this out and get to the level with like proper stone building and stuff like that, like the better stuff and try and progress a bit further. So when I come back tomorrow, we'll be right ready to go and explore even more of the new beta. Man, it's so much fun. Even like starting from scratch again and pushing through, despite the grind, it's just so much fun. And I've had a ball, but I'll have to come back and get into all the new good stuff in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure to the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.